if you have not watched my summer little crafty haul that I had in July, I will link it down below. But I am going to finish my book that I started. I'm going to just show you the cover and then I'm going to process through everything in here. So the collection that I'm going to be using for this particular book is called Summer Days from Simple Stories. It was last year. So I ended up going in the, the retreat or the expo that I went to. We ended up going to a class, Heather and I, and we got this as our kit. But I have had two, I bought this collection times two. So I bought all of this times two. And then I have all of this chipboard ephemera that's all in here, along with the brads and the other sticker pad to this. And I am going to add to this collection. They're from Queen and Company. They're donuts, but I'm using them for the tags just to add some embellishment. So I have these to add. And the pictures that you will see me scrapbook is the start of the summer. So the start of our summer is like in June with my birthday. And then this is my daughter. And we're just going to scrapbook all of these through. And I don't have all of my stuff printed off. But this is what I'm going to put in this box. And of course, I don't have the four, any July stuff. So I'm going to go all the way through as far as I can um, as this process video. And we'll go from there. So let's speed this up. Okay, so after you guys just watched what I've all put together, I wanted to give you a little bit of process of how I did these. So I started out by doing the very first one that you see that I already did at the clock um, or at the class um, with it in, in working with Heather when we were at the hotel together. So the first part of the pictures that I've used in this particular one is of my daughter making my birthday cake with her best friend and it's my um, good friend that watches my daughter for the summer while I'm at work part time. And here I am, I'm just putting in embellishments. As you could see and as you've done my haul and also the beginning of this video, you've seen that I went through and did a bunch of stuff to this. And off camera, while you watch in between of how I kind of did this, I did the start of this one. And then when I got to the point of where I needed the hand for, to sew, I took, when off camera, did a bunch of the layouts quickly so that you didn't have to watch all of it and then came back and showed you the last few. And then I have a flip through at the end that I will go through. I do not have any still shots of this only because... It's a little harder to do a still shot with this style of a book. So I did the flip through of it very slowly so you can see. And then of course, just make sure that you message me or comment or message me or whatever regarding any of the stuff that I do. So the pictures that are in this very first section is of my ice, my birthday ice cream. We always go out to eat for our birthdays or something to that sort and I am a June birthday so I had to definitely document my Cold Stone Creamery ice cream that I got. I cannot tell you, cannot remember what it was but it, I know it was this delicious and what I do put on that picture after I split the picture in it states, be in the moment, summer loving, ice cream always. And then I did a chipboard on the sun. And then the other two pictures is of my son, or excuse me, not my son, my daughter, making my mom cake, as she called it. And I do do all of my journaling off camera as well. And I place a little soda pop and a sticker with the sun and a rose. And then I do some stitching along where the 4x4 four four little flip pictures are. And then also where I put down the uh, washi tape. Okay, and so here I am on to, so I skipped through a bunch of stuff. Like I said, I skipped through a bunch and I am showing you the last two that I have done for this album for right now because I don't have all the pictures. Because I just printed out everything that we did in June. 
And now I did go back and have printed out all of my July pictures that we have done so far. And here I am. I did some more washi tape. And instead of doing paper all the way through like I have done, I put the washi tape along the protective sheet that you see there right there that I'm doing the 4 by 6 layout for. And I sewed all the way across that. I did a bunch of zigzags and a bunch of other things so that it stuck. And then before I came on camera, I did all of my journaling. And it just talks about how my daughter's never really been at the pool before. And this was the first time that we went to the pool. So Josh came with us this time. And this was the first day that we've ever gone. And Josh helped Kaylin learn how to jump from the ledge and all of that kind of stuff. And I documented that all along the bottom there that you see. And I'm taking off the back part of that sticker so that it doesn't stick to anything. And it says on the front, it states, life is better in flip-flops. And then it's just a big old word that's called summer. And the little tag, I write swimming. So this picture here is of my daughter jumping off the jumping off the edge of the pool into daddy. And then on the back, I have a sun that says summer days. And I kind of wanted to put the camper in this vintage vehicle. And this is where I'm looking to try to find it. And I found it in the stickers. I thought it was in the ephemera and it was in the stickers. So I placed that down and I just wanted to add something a little different there. And then the last one that I do show you here, and of course I'll go through all of this, is the last one that I have left from the summer, and it's the 4 by 3s and it's a couple of pictures of my husband Josh and my daughter getting learning how to swim, and then another one trying to float. So this first one here is just of my daughter trying to get to the edge of where I am at and I just put a sticker that has a little vintage camera and it says oh snap and then a little the other paper that you see me sticking in right there it's called a little sip of summer and I have a jar on jar with a couple of popsicles and then the little word that says wet and wild and then on the back it states I love summer and I placed a little sticker that's called Beach Please with the ball and then the good life. And I place this word summer and I take out the three cameras that I have. The little vintage camera. And you can still see that the word is summer. And the little sayings that I placed on the outside, it's called Sun is my Sunshine is my favorite accessory. And then the other one is a little bit of summer is what a whole year is all about. And here I am, I'm just cleaning up everything. Look at all of that ephemera and chipboard and everything else I get to play with for the rest of this. I mean, I so hope I clear out a lot of this because I do not have much paper left. I have more embellishments than I do paper. So now here is the flip through of what I've gotten. And I'll explain just a little bit as we go through. I did this in slow motion so that you can see so this is the front first one that I showed you that I did do and then I hand like hand sewed not hand sewed machine sewed and then that next one that you see right there is just a little bit of a picture and it's of my daughter working on a project that Dee Dee did during the summer one of them was about putting dirt down and the other one was making dirt. And then I did some sequins there, and I put a chipboard in there. And the sequins that I placed in there was called Free, Free Spirit. And then I did up some more pictures there with some more sequins that you can see. And that was called The Good Life. And the sequins mix there, I'm not sure what that one is called. I'll look for it. So here I go, I did some hole punch and I did some twine. And here is all about the splash pad for the first time that they went to that. With my friend Dee Dee and her bestie Jeremiah. And I just placed some pictures in there and documented all of that. And then it will tie. So I did another little flip thing. And here I went and placed a bunch of sequins with the swimsuit on top. 
and the swimming trunks on the bottom and I placed some more sequins in there and that one is called the wise ones and then on the back I just placed um, stickers of the swimsuit in the sun with a little bit of embellishment and this is the one that I showed you guys with of my husband teaching my daughter how to swim and I slowed it down in slow-mo so I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope to talk to you guys soon bye